Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do performance testing in Postman using the board API. If you don't know the board API, I have a video about it, but to put it simple, um, in case you're bored, you can just uh, create calls which will generate some activities for you. But enough about the API that we're going to have a look at. Did you actually know you can do API performance with Postman. I will put the link in the description how you can have a look and do API testing with uh, with Postman. But there are two ways of achieving this. So on the one hand, you can use your regular Postman and on the other hand, you will need to register here and use the second method. But we will see both. However, before showing you the method, I would just want to point out that there are a couple of ways to do or a couple of different kind of performance testing. On the one hand, you have stress, you have load, you have spike, soak, you have volume. So it's not only one type of performance testing. And that's why there are, there are multiple ways to do this via Postman. So for the standard way, you need, on the one hand, you need a couple of calls. I have here two calls, which I do need to have a collection for. So let me just make a performance test one. And I will save request number one and request number two. So you can do different kinds of requests. I'm just doing get requests here to make things straightforward and easy. And how can we do performance testing with the first, um, with Postman with the first method? Well, we need to go to uh, run collection. And what we, or which kind of uh, performance testing are we doing? Well, we're basically creating load by setting a specific number of iterations here. So if I do, I don't know, a couple of thousands iterations, this will run this request 18,000 times. And if I set the delay milliseconds really, really uh, close, or really, really small, then uh, I also have some advanced uh, settings here, but it's the standard way. So normally you would just run your collections and not necessarily have multiple iterations, or if you have multiple iterations, you would not put such a high number. Now, by doing this, by running the requests a lot of times, let's just also uh, change this view to view summary. By running these requests a lot of times, I'm generating load on the server and I would need to have access to some, some other things. So um, to have access to some logs, to have access to some resource monitoring, to be able to see, um, to be able to see the effect or how the system behaves based on this load. Now, this way of doing performance testing is not the most ideal one, but it can be used to generate load on a system. Now, the second method is a little bit different and more direct for what we want to do. Let me just stop this because I don't want to generate load unnecessarily. And let me switch to a different postman. Now I switch to a different Postman and you may not believe me, but you will see, um, I mean, this is Postman Canary. And since both Postman instances are using my account, the request that we created for the previous or in the previous Postman are still here and also that collection. Now, how can we do performance testing here? Well, we go in the same direction. So we go to run collection. And the difference, if you have a look, so we can still do the functional part. So having multiple iterations with specific delay, but we can also do performance. Now, as it stays here, this is still 
in beta. This is still in the beginning phase, but do not worry. I will post a link in the description where you can register and you can too, uh, we can have access to this version of Postman. Now, what do we have here? So we have, on the one hand, the possibility to set a specific number of virtual users. Now, we, you do have a limit here based um, on the one hand on your systems, based on the API, based on um, um, based on Postman itself. Uh, so um, I encourage you not to go a lot overboard with this because if you do, for example, a very large number and you try to run it, you see you have 200 virtual users. And this should be more, more than enough the, for testing purposes. And I'm pretty sure it will get better or it will, you will have uh, different options once um, this functionality goes out of beta. Test duration, what does this mean? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have, uh, you can set the duration for your tests and based on the duration set, you will have, um, you will see that we have um, different number of requests being made. And regarding the requests being made, we can uh, have, or we do have two kinds of requests. On the one hand, we have a fixed. So that means you, we constantly have 15 users going in or 50 virtual users going in and doing requests or we can do a ramp up and we can define from our 10 minutes how fast we want to do the ramp up if we want to do it in the first minute then our um, the virtual users will go like this if we want to do it in the last one um, so let's see I don't know, 11 yeah oh sorry 10 is the maximum uh, if we want to do it like in 8, it will go like this. If we want to do it in 10, it will gradually go. And let's try to do it like this. But instead of 10, let's do, I don't know, 5 minutes. So I will run this right now. And once, so it does have, on the one hand, uh, it needs some time to prepare the run. So it takes the request that we made uh, in the collection. It takes the parameters that we gave it. And it will put this all as a setup and start to run actual requests. Now I will stop it and come back once this is done. But as you can see here, we have requests being made, uh, data being calculated, and I will stop the video and come back after the five minutes when everything has been finished. And we're back. Thank you for your patience. Although for you, it just went by in a couple of milliseconds. Now, once everything has been done, so all the uh, requests have been run, we get a nice chart with all of the overview, uh, with the overview of what happened. We see uh, in the tooltip the virtual users going. So we said we want to have a ramp up. So slowly we should reach the 15 right at the end because that's when we wanted to, to see them. We see the number of requests. So it, they went pretty even. We have 767 for the first request and almost the same for the second one. Uh, the request per second, the response time, and the error rate. I mean, like I said, we tried a very simple example um, where we didn't have authentication, authorization, we didn't create things, we just did get requests. But in a normal environment, we would have an error rate here, depending on the scenario. So for example, maybe uh, your um, token expired, your authorization expired, and then you would get a higher error rate here. Um, you can we can switch this, this and filter based on the request. So we can see the first one and then the second one. And we have a couple of different um, ways to, to view. But as I said, considering the fact that we had no error rate, um, so everything is more or less in this um, view, more or less similar, more or less the same, um, except for the minimum and maximum response. So minimum would be like this, maximum total opposite. Um, 
and we can in case we have multiple runs also see comparison on them let's let's try something like this let's do i would uh, increase this one which i'm pretty sure will give me an error and then i will try to run them again i'll pause the video and come back once this is done so the second run is finished and now we can see if we go to all runs we can see some comparisons so in the second one since we ran for some reason more requests but we still had no errors good i mean that's a really nice sign for the api that even without uh, the uh, api returning any actual values we could still didn't get any any errors so if we go back to all the runs so we have the overview and if we go to a specific run we see again the number of requests and um, the same pattern for the average um, so the same pattern for the virtual users and the average responses now, as I said, this is still in beta phase, so I'm pretty sure Postman will come up with more features in the future. I will link the link, I will post the link in the description for how uh, you can get um, access to this version of Postman. Write if you tried it, write if you liked it, post any comment regarding this, and as always, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.